So, hello mates and welcome to the heatwave season. Yes, finally the heatwave season arrived on Asphalt 9 Nintendo Switch after a little bit of delay. <laughs> yeah, feel the heat, welcome to the heatwave season where you can take advantage of the weather and cruise into summer in one of seven fabulous new cabriolet cars. Grab the Legend Pass for access to exclusive events, benefits and to unlock the stylish McLaren Alva. What's new? New cars. This season brings 7 new cars for you to collect, take part in events to try them out and grab them for your garage. What's also new? A new track, a new location, it's Auckland. Take a spin on a brand new track. Race through the Auckland night on a track inspired by real world circuits. What's also new? Special events. So take part in this season with the Hennessy Venom F5 and the Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport Vitesse for a chance to add these cars to your garage or participate in the awesome Unleashed and Burst of Speed events. What's new? A Grand Prix events. So yeah, take, take it to the track and race to the win. The Pagani is on the HP Barrichetta and the Lamborghini SC20 in the Grand Prix event for this season. So. Yeah, all right, let's go. So congratulations, you have unlocked a special event for the Bugatti Veyron. Let's check it later. <laughs> oh, and over here we got Gameloft Customer Care. Obtain your rewards now. Hi there, racer. It's so great to see that despite any unexpected delays on the racetrack, you are still here and ready to fight. Here, take this gift and we will see you on the track, Asphalt 19. Let's have a look what's inside. So we get 300 tokens and 5 packs of the season. Let's have a look. Actually, there is not too much inside the packs that I would be useful for me. Actually, there is only the Porsche 911 GT3 RS and I think there's one more car. And these packs available, but not in here. <laughs> yeah. All right. Then I would say, first things first, let's have a look onto the Legend Pass. Welcome to the Eat Wave Season. Take your Asphalt 9 experience to the next level by playing this exclusive season while it lasts for 51 more days or 52, depending on. Yeah. So, complete season missions. Claim the amazing rewards. Invest on a legend pass to get some extra benefits like free star exclusive car, McLaren Elva, the four extra gas capacity in all cars once you have unlocked it, and yeah, daily free ticket refill, very useful for the car hunts. Plus two classic packs daily, some reputation boost, trade coin boost, legend point boost and so on and so on. Exclusive decal for the McLaren Alva, exclusive body parts for the Aventador SV and yeah next season bundle discount. Yeah go further, be a legend, feel the heat, welcome to the heat wave season, take advantage blah blah blah. That's the same text as we have already seen before. Yeah let's go for it, let's have a look onto the shop. I know, here we are not in the shop, here we are on the season and a legend pass and yeah so you can see there is blueprints for the mclaren alpha on the legend pass we have a decal available in here same as trade coins and tokens there is also emoticons epic import part for the v12 speedster and yeah some pretty cool stuff in here <laughs> so if you want to invest some money in this game, it's definitely the best thing you can go for, the Legend Pass. And yeah, that's why I think we should go for it. Actually, we can also have a look onto the missions. So here we got the season missions and yeah, episode one, Summertime Arrival, which is also inside the daily events. And yeah, you can see over here, uh, different missions and in total we have seven episodes in here and yeah then I would say let's buy the legend pass and unlock exclusive rewards so here we have the legend pass the heatwave season legend pass is here 10 euros in total if you have 
never got some legend pass before you might have some discount over here but let's also have a look on to the packs in here so we have epic import part packs heatwave season packs the one we have just opened over here once you have 280 conditions completed on the bugatti veyron special event you can also access these packs here we have non-key and key packs for the lamborghini sc20 grand prix car and over here we have the Aston Martin V12 Speedster packs that are from the car hunt right now. Yeah, we can also claim a free pack. Let's have a look. Is there anything good inside? Partially good. <laughs> yeah, some credits. Better than nothing. And yeah. Over here we have Heatwave Season Relay packs. But yeah. We have already had a look into those packs and for me they are not that great. Here we have the relay packs for the Lamborghini SC20 Grand Prix. Actually I wouldn't recommend to go for these packs because they are not really that great. You only get 4 guaranteed blueprints for 750. Actually you would get 3 guaranteed blueprints anyways by going for regular packs but the chance is pretty high you will get like six blueprints or even more so yeah for the 900 tokens but that's the reason why i wouldn't recommend to go for the relay packs over here at all in my opinion but yeah here we have some more packs for the Aston martin v12 speedster and some more cash bundles and so on so yeah let's get back to the legend pass and let's unlock this thing All right, looks like the pass is gone. No, here we are. <laughs> Product purchase complete. Congratulations, you have bought the legend pass. Tap to continue. And yeah, let's have a look. We can already claim the first reward, which is 45 blueprints for the McLaren Alva. And this should help us to unlock the car. And here we go, McLaren Alva unlocked, very nice. So, next up, let's have a look onto the career mode of Asphalt 9 Switch. And over here we have the Heat Wave season, which is the new season of this season update. And yeah, it comes with 19 conditions or 19 season flags. So, the last one is finishing the race with the McLaren Alva. So, if you don't have the Legend Pass, you won't be able to finish all the season flags of this season. But yeah, as you can see over here, there is also a Peugeot Onyx blueprint in the rewards, which is, at least for me, very useful. Let's have a look. We have the first new location track over here, which is Auckland track. In Auckland, of course. And yeah, actually I have played Auckland a little bit on the Android version of Asphalt 9. But I'm not an expert on this track, so I will give it a go now here to show you the track anyway. So yeah, let's go for it. Oh yeah, we have the BMW Z4, and yeah. yeah, as you can see over here, there's also a box that is usually the cursor is on upgrades. So you will need to head over here to the right, or you can just press the X button on your Nintendo Switch controller, which should start the race for you. <laughs>
That's it, we're walking so far. Uh, actually, I'm not going to claim it right now. I think next up, we should have a look onto the new cars of the season update. So yeah, let's have a look. The first car we have a look onto is the Aston Martin V12 Speedster. This is um, a classy car that comes with four stars, as you can see over here on the data sheet. And I compared it to the Ford Shelby G01. If you compare both cars side by side, you will notice the acceleration is so much better on the Aston Martin V12 Speedster that I think this makes this car kind of useful for multiplayer. Actually, the top speed is not that good, only 313 km per hour, and also the handling is not too great. So this is also definitely a downside compared to other cars. And yeah, nitro efficiency 62.5 should be okay. But yeah, the car is at the moment available in the car hunt event and you should definitely try to max it out because you will need the car at max rank for the Bugatti Veyron special event that's going on right now. But it will also be useful later on for other events like the McLaren Senna GTR Grand Prix event and also the Ultima RS special event. So yeah, the car looks pretty cool and yeah, I will definitely try to max it out myself. The second new car is the McLaren Elva. McLaren Elva also comes with an active rear wing as you can see over here. And it's a 5 star legendary class B car. And I compared it here to the Aston Martin Vantage GT12. So the Aston Martin Vantage GT12 itself is already a pretty good car. It is slightly better than the Corvette Grand Sport. And the McLaren Elva itself got a better top speed and acceleration stat than the Aston Martin Vantage GT12, so I think this is absolutely great. If you have a look onto the handling stat and the nitro efficiency, you will notice these two stats are lower, it's dramatically lower, but in general, still good enough. You have 75 of handling and 65 on nitro efficiency, and I think these two stats are still okay. And you have a really nice acceleration of more than 81 points, so the stats are really good and I think this car is useful for multiplayer. Actually, the car will only be available for Legend Pass owners, so if you don't have the Legend Pass, you won't have access to the packs in the shop and you will also not get any blueprints of this car. Actually, the car will become available again later on for Legend Pass owners during the British season update. So if you have the Legend Pass right now and you got three stars onto this car at the end of the season, yeah, you don't need to go for the packs if you don't really want to because the car will come back at a later point. So yeah, you, you will max it out then. <laughs> The third new car is the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ Road. So you can see the letters at the tail of the car. And yeah, it's a really nice Lamborghini. <laughs> Just combining the pros of the Aventador J as well as the Aventador SV. And yeah, so it's nice to have this car in the game. And let's have a look onto the stats. So this is a six star class A car and it will become available at its Unleash event later on on the season. And support cars are the Jaguar CX-75, Porsche 918 Spyder, the VLF Force 1 and the Chevrolet Corvette CR1. Actually, um, I compared it to the Aventador J because it's a little bit more closer to the Aventador J than the Aventador SV. 
And yeah, if you have a look onto the stats in comparison, you will notice the top speed is almost the same, slightly better than the Aventador J. Also the same on the handling and the uh, acceleration. Both stats are also slightly better compared to the Lamborghini Aventador J. The only set that is a little bit lower is the nitro efficiency, but I don't think this is any problem. So if you like yourself the Lamborghini Aventador J, you will definitely also like the Aventador SVJ Roadster. But there is one thing and you will notice it, you will need to have a lot more blueprints. So while the Aventador J asks only for 187 blueprints, you will need to have 267 blueprints for this car. You will get a little few from the Unleash event, but there will be a lot more to go until you have this car maxed out. So yeah, also it takes a lot more credits to max out the car, but yeah. <laughs> so pretty cool car, but let's have a look on to the next one. And the next one is the Lamborghini SC20 over here. So as you can see, the Lamborghini SC20, what I really like about the car is the tail lights. They are pretty much, yeah, they are reminding me very hard onto the Lamborghini Zion for some reason. And yeah, let's have a look onto the stats of the car. So it's a six star class A car and you will need to have a key to get it unlocked and add it to your garage. So the car is available right now at the Grand Prix event that just started today. Uh, it will have two qualification rounds, six final rounds, and you can see the locations down below on the right side. The Gen TX alone is the car I compared to SC22. And yeah, if you compare both cars side by side, the blueprints and the credits you will need to spend for this car are pretty much the same. Same as the sets of the car. So if you compare the top speed, the acceleration, as well as the nitro efficiency, that you will notice the SC20 is only one point less than the Gen TX alone, and the Gen TX alone itself is a great car. So, yeah, the SC20 is slightly worse, slightly worse than the Gen TX alone, but Gen TX alone itself is already one of the high end cars. So, if you decide to, for yourself to go for this car, I don't think it's a bad decision to go for this car. Um, well. Acceleration, top speed and nitro efficiency are lower on the SE20. The handling is better. So you have 72 points on handling on the gold version of the SC20, while the Gen TX alone only got 67.8. So yeah, in my opinion, it's a great car. If you like to go for it, you should do it. But there is also another class A roadster available on the season. And this one here is the Pagani Zonda HP Barchetta. And yeah, it is becoming available in a later on Grand Prix event in this season. Also, you can here see again, the Grand Prix feature is two qualification and six final rounds. Locations are listed down below on the right side. And I compared this car actually to the Ferrari 812 Superfast. The Ferrari 812 Superfast is a kind of underrated car, I would say. Because the top speed is not that crazy good for a class A car. And yeah, in general, you can see this is only a 5 star and not a 6 star class A car. And yeah, I would say the car itself it is well balanced yes because you have nitro efficiency handling stats at 73 acceleration close to the 80 but yeah top speed only 350 kilometers per hour which is not that fast if you are in yellow nitro the car gets a top speed of 364 it is not too great <laughs> it is not too great so i don't think i would go for the max Pagani Zonda HP Barchetta, but it's up to your own. You will need to decide it yourself if you if you want to max out the car or not. <laughs> but I think I I don't max out the car. So let's have a look on to some class S car. And the first of the two class S cars that got added with the update is the Bugatti Veyron. The Bugatti Veyron also comes with an active rear wing, as you can see over here. 
and I also like the design of the car but let's have a look onto the stats of the car as you can see over here it is a six star class S car and I compared it to the Zembo TS1 GT Anniversary Edition and first thing you should notice is the Bugatti Veyron takes 300 blueprints to max out while the Zenvo is only taking 200 so it is definitely much more difficult and expensive in terms of tokens to max out the Bugatti Veyron. The Bugatti Veyron is available right now at a special event that just started today. You can see cars that are required like the Kuro NSX GT3 at Gold Ring, same as the Apollo N. But also the Aston Martin V12 Speedster from the Car Hunt, the Ferrari La Ferrari Aperta, the 570S Spider, the Pagani Huayra and the Lamborghini SC20 which is available on a free try in the event. So yeah, if you have a look now onto the stats side by side between the Veyron and the Zenvo TS1, you will notice they are very close to each other. They are almost identical you could say. Only the handling is slightly better than the Zenvo's uh, handling. 50 points is okay, it is not too great, but it is definitely okay enough. The only thing that is really much lower is the nitro efficiency. Nitro efficiency only at 50.7. This is almost like a Trion, I would say, so I don't expect too much of the nitro efficiency. It is only good enough to give you a shockwave to, to speed up the Bugatti Veyron but you can't drive over the whole, whole map in yellow nitro, <laughs> that's for sure. So yeah, overall a pretty good car, but I think it will be very expensive to max this car out. And the last car of this update is the Hennessy Venom 5. One of the cars most players have waited for to get this car available in Asphalt 9 Switch. And yeah, it is only available for Legend Pass holder, so this is not available if you are a free to play player <laughs> because the special event will ask you to have the McLaren Alva on the first uh, stage and yeah you can see also the other required cars listed down below on the right side. I compared the Hennessy Venom F5 which is a class S 6 star car and one of the fastest cars in the game or the fastest car in the game with more than 512.3 kilometers per hour. And um, yeah, without nitro, <laughs> with nitro 538 uh, kilometers per hour, which is insane. And even faster than the SSC2 Atara. Yeah. Um, I compared these cars now side by side next to each other. You will need to have the key from the special event. So you should definitely try to finish all the conditions that are required to get a key. And also, you will need to have all the blueprints to make it out. So it's also 300 blueprints, same as the Tuatara. Um, yeah, I compared both cars side by side and you will notice the nitro efficiency is much better on the Tuatara by yeah, 12 and a half point. And also the aspiration status better by almost two points. So this makes the Tuatara maybe some sort of being able to keep up with the Venom. But of course, if you have a look onto the top speed and the longer you are able to maintain the top speed on the Venom F5, you will definitely catch up with the Tuatara <laughs> sooner or later. And yeah, the handling is pretty much the same. So it is almost identical difference of 0.3 and that's it. So yeah, the Hennessy Venom F5, definitely a legendary car. Nice to have it now inside A9 Switch. And now we will have a look on to the events of the Heatwave season update. So as you can see over here, there is the Lamborghini SC20 Grand Prix van. You have 16 hours left to unlock qualification round one. Down below we have the car hunt event for the Aston Martin V12 Speedster. Actually, the new car hunts will always be listed now in a special event tab. And over here we have the Bugatti Veyron special event. So yeah. Other Grand Prix events that are coming up during the season update are the Porsche GT3 RS, Porsche 911 GT3 RS, Epic Grand Prix, and also the Grand Prix event for the Sonderbar Heta to unlock this one. 
If we have a look on to the car hunts, there will be some more car hunts coming up for the Cura NSX um, GD3 EVO. And if you don't have the key, you will also have a chance to get uh, a key on this key hunt. There will be a Dodge Viper GTS car hunt, uh, 488 GTB. A Maserati Fieri, maybe, maybe, but I, I'm not too sure about this one because we already had one just not too long time ago. Um, the Lamborghini Murcielago will also be, become a car hunt during the season, as well as the 4GT MK2 is getting its key hunt. There will be a Etal Design Zero Uno car hunt, as well as a Lamborghini Aventador SV Coupe car hunt. And I think that's it for the car hunt events. If we have a look on to other special events, there is the Bugatti Veyron right now. But there will also be an Unleash event for the Aventador SVJ Roadster. As well as the Legend Pass exclusive special event on the Hennessy Venom F5 later on on the season. Beside all of these special events, we also got some new events in the daily events tab. So over here we got the Legend Pass Showcase, which is featuring the McLaren Alpha, of course, which is the Legend Pass car. We have a Heatwave Season Part 1. Later on, it will be a Part 2, I guess. And yeah, this will give you the chance or the opportunity to win some more extra tokens if you have the cars unlocked that are required. And over here we have Summertime Arrival, some event that is featuring the Aston Martin V12 Speedster and give you some extra credits to upgrade your cars, for example. So that's the daily events that also got added by this update. And if we have a look on to the multiplayer, you will notice beside of the old classic series that's going on, we also got a new Lamborghini SC20 trial series. Good thing about this trial series is it is fuel unlimited, so you can just go for it and yeah, finish it. Actually, it's only two days or three days in total. Good thing is the series score that are required to finish this one is only 1500 as the season is much shorter as it would have been. So this is kind of fair. But to be honest, if you are unavailable on these two and a half or three days, yeah, you will definitely not be able to finish it anyways, <laughs> even if it's only 1500 But yeah, I will definitely do a live stream on tomorrow for the Lamborghini SC20. If you like, feel free to join me. I will definitely finish up the last milestone and yeah. We can also have a look onto the club status over here and over here you will find all the milestones that are included in this club season. So you get some blueprints on the Apollo N, some for the NSX 3 Evo, some 570 as spider blueprints, some for the Aperta, some for the Huayra BC. And then we have some blueprints for the Aston Martin V12 Speedster. Here we have some SC20, which are kind of useful for the Grand Prix event. And last but not least, we have another epic import part for the Bugatti Veyron. Now, I wouldn't wonder if next club season there will be the Hennessy Venom F5 epic import part as the final club milestone. And yeah, that's the new club season so far. Actually, on Quick Race, there is no new challenges added. Split screen is also the very same. And yeah, that's already it. So I think there is not much more to say on this season update. Actually, there is some stuff that's not working 100% fine so far. Gameloft is already working on some hotfix, as they have said. And maybe if we are lucky, we will see uh, this hotfix arriving maybe before the weekend or maybe sometime next week. And yeah. Another thing I really like about this update is that we finally have the dirt fix for Nevada So you don't need to worry too much anymore if you're driving Nevada and That the road is dirty for some reason and breaks down your car a lot. So this is also pretty cool And yeah, I think that's it for this season update. I hope you enjoyed it and yeah Then I wish you good luck for the special events for the Grand Prix events and all the other stuff that's going on 
have a good luck on the card packs if you are opening some and yeah have a great time and goodbye